here at the Mercury Display, uh, Mercury Racing, Mercury Outboards, Mercury, everything, it's a lifestyle, right? Starting with this 400R behind us, uh, a little bit more gingerbread on this motor than we saw from last year, explain that. Well, you know, one of the things you're probably gonna see is, you know, behind you there's a special bracket on the engine, and that is a factory installed rear tie bar bracket, which is specifically designed for when we install these engines on the performance cat boats. Right. Right. And we've really seen kind of a resurgence in interest in outboard powered cats. Right. And you know, we've got you know something that's higher power now than you've ever been able to put on the back of a cat with an outboard. Right. And uh, we wanted to make sure that when you put a tie bar across the back of these things, you're doing it safely and in a manner that um, not only gives you the security that the rear tie bar provides, but it doesn't violate the integrity of the engine either. It still keeps a nice, stable, sturdy package and sure. it's covered by our factory warranty. Now, let's, uh, let's expand on the 400 now because obviously the 400 is in a little bit of a different family than the 350 and everything down from there. And, and that formerly was the 350's position and now the 350's in this standard uh, product line. Explain the differences when you jump to that 400. What's different in the warranties? What's different in the fuel system? What's different in the way that you manage that, that engine plant? Sure. Uh, well, as you know, you know, once you come out with you know, a certain power rating, the next question is when are you going to go up from there? So that's really what you know made the 400 come to come to market. Right. And what we do with the 400 is we put a custom performance calibration um, into the L6 Verado package, which gives you a 7,000 RPM redline. Right. It gives you a significant jump in low end and mid range torque, right. which is very important for very fast planing and acceleration and mid range punch. And you know, turning it up to 7,000 RPM really gives you a lot of options from a propping standpoint as well to get you up a nice top speed figure. Okay, so if we want to call it a downside, if there is one, we need to run better fuel, and we probably don't have quite a, as much warranty as we can on the other motors. Explain that, please. Well, you know, from a fuel standpoint, the engine only requires 91 octane fuel. Right. So, you know, that is fairly readily available, but the beautiful thing about the 400, it's got a really great knock system on it. Right. So you can run this thing safely on uh, 89 octane or 90 rec, which is available at a lot of the pumps around here. Sure. And it won't hurt the engine, it won't hurt your warranty. Right. Um, and then on the warranty side, you know, the 350 uh, that the main Mercury Marine plant produces comes with their standard main plant three-year warranty. Yes. We still give you a really competitive two-year factory warranty okay. on this engine and we offer the ability to purchase up to three years of additional warranty so you can still get five years of coverage on a Mercury Racing 400. Now there's also a lot of racing, literally racing engines here too. Of course we don't get into much racing with the Florida Powerboat Club, right? A poker run is not a race. But um, there are a lot of other uh, new products in the outboard line. Let's segue into what you unveiled. Sure, we um, we unveiled two uh, new outboards this year, and you know, like you said, I know you're more in the poker run side than the race, but you know, we do we do both at Mercury Racing. Yes. So we did a line extension derivative of the 400 called the ROS, which is a race offshore, and that is a competition engine, and basically it's the 400 power head and gear case, but put a customized midsection on it, which reduces it to 15 inches, right. and basically lowers the center of gravity on that engine, so that when you've got these uh, racing cats uh, cutting, you know, you turns at really high speeds, it keeps it nice and stable and drivable. Okay. And then uh, let's wander over because I saw a new product that you unveiled yesterday, Diesel Outboard. Okay. Let's, let's go take a look. I'm not sure that I expected to see a Diesel Outboard in the Mercury Racing booth, but here it is. So I got to ask, how did this come in to be? And uh, tell us about the motor. This started out as a project with the U.S. Navy sure. um, where, you know, they're looking for, you know, an outboard that gives you a two-stroke like performance, but it takes the volatility of gasoline off of a mothership and lets you run something like diesel fuel, uh, which is a lot more stable. So really, you know, they were looking for something that runs like a two-stroke but burns diesel fuel. And, you know, we decided that was a challenge we wanted to accept. And that's what bore out the DSI product, which actually stands for diesel spark and ig ignition. Okay, uh, what's the horsepower? I see it's a three liter. Yep. This engine makes 175 horsepower, which is, which is you know, perfect for that patrol boat market. Usually it's a pair of them on a rib or a small craft, and a lot of times they're associated with a mothership as well. And the real claim to fame is this is the only diesel product we know of in the world where we ignite the diesel fuel with a spark plug. Well, we're here at uh, Mercury Racing. Very important that we talk to all the brass. So we've got uh, Eric Christensen, general manager of Mercury Racing. Eric, 
not your first rodeo, not your first time on Boat Show TV, and not your first time covering a poker run for the Florida Powerboat Club. But it is your first time at this new location at the Miami Show. How's it going? It's going really well. Uh, this is a, it's a great opportunity. It's a great location. Uh, I like that we have the, the booth display right next to the water. You know, people can go out and see the water. It changes the atmosphere. you got the beautiful uh, Miami skyline behind you. It's it's really it's been fantastic so far. Uh, and on that subject, we are standing in front of a Mercury Racing 1550 dual fuel motor. Uh, probably, I would say, without a doubt, the flagship of now of the Stern Drive product for Mercury. Obviously, the flagship of the Poker Run guys out there that want to go fast and they want to have that little bit of a competitive edge by going to the, the better fuel. Explain how it works and why this is becoming a popular motor. Okay, so originally we had the 1650, which was a competition at use only engine, and this engine now is actually EPA uh, certified. So this is, uh, you know, generally the engines that we've sold in the 1650s have always been for uh, competition use. This is a uh, consumer available engine. It's certified at 1550 and 1350. Right. Um, so some of the people have actually built boats with multiple tanks, where they can put race fuel in one tank and pump fuel in the other tank. There's two different key fobs, and it electronically uh, tells the ECU which which set of maps to use. So one key is, is for 1550, one key is for 1350. I know that the guys who are really in tune with these higher end products know the warranty situation, but tell our viewers out there, what is the standard warranty on the 1550? How does that work? How long is it? It's, it's one year, and you can operate up to 10 years, uh, up, up to 10 hours on N1550 mode. So we log how much time it spends in each, each uh, 10 hours each in the 1550 mode. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go down to some more of the entry level stern drive products that are popular. What's hot? What's the best seller? Uh, what do you recommend to a guy who's getting into poker runs? He doesn't want an over the top high performance boat. He's going to spend three or four hundred thousand on his boat. What are you recommending? What motor? A lot of people have been uh, utilizing our 520s, 540s, and 565s. I mean, they're great packages. The 520s and 540s have a two-year warranty on them. Yes. Um, they run on 87-octane uh, fuel, right. and uh, just it's, it's a great, great pleasure boat motor, and, and it still is giving you enough power to go and have a lot of fun.